Good morning, class. Today, we're going to study about Science 6, Second Quarter, Week 6. Learning Competency. Determine and Distinguishing Characteristics of Vertebrates and Invertebrates. Let us review. Tell whether the following pictures of vertebrates are mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish, or bird. What classification of vertebrate is a frog? Of course, it is an amphibian. What classification of vertebrate is a fish? Of course, it's a fish. What classification of vertebrates can you see? Of course, it's a bird. What classification of vertebrate is a lizard? Of course, it is an, a reptile. What classification of vertebrates are cats? Of course, it's a mammal. Invertebrates are animals without backbone. Which of the following are invertebrates? Write yes if it is a vertebrate animal. And no if they do not have a backbone or invertebrates. What can you see in the picture? It's a whale. The answer is... Yes. What can you see in the picture? It's a bee. The answer is no. It is an invertebrate. What can you see in the picture? It's a crab. The answer is no because it is an invertebrate. What can you see in the picture? A starfish. The answer is no. It is an invertebrate animal. What can you see in the picture? A tarsier. The answer is yes. It is a mammal. What can you see in the picture? A jellyfish. The answer is no, because it is an invertebrate. The classification of invertebrate animals. Number one, sponges, pore-bearing animals. Number two, nidarians, hollow intestine collaterites. Number three, echinoderms. Number four, mollusks. Soft-bodied animals. Number five, flatworms. Number six, anthropods, insects, crustaceans, myriapods, arachnids. Sponges are pore-bearing animals. The habitat of most, most sponges is marine. There are some found in fresh water. Their body has tiny pores where oxygen and food in the form of algae, small protozoans, bacteria, organic protozoans are taken it. Sponges undergo regeneration, a process by which lost parts are grown or replaced. Sea sponges are animals, not plants. They do not have heads, eyes, brains, arms, legs, ears, muscles, nerves, or organs. General characteristics of nidarians meaning stingy creatures. Radial symmetry. Two different body parts exist, the medusa and polyp. Nidarians are made up of two tissue layers separated by mesogalea. Habitat, aquatic. Other examples of Nidarians. Basic characteristics of Echinodermata. 
Example, starfish, sea urchin, sea cucumber. The main features of Echidermata are follows. Their body is rough, spiny, radially symmetrical, that is the body can be divided into two identical halves along any plane. Most of them are marine, that is, they live in a sea. They move with the help of the tube feet. Characteristics. Mollocks are soft-bodied animals that are eaten by man. Bivalve are mollocks with two shells, clams, oysters, scallops, and mussels. Univalves are mollocks with one shell that include land and water snails, logs, and abalones. Cephalopods are head-footed mollocks which include octopus, squid, and cuttlefish. Platyhelminthes, flat worms. General characteristics of body plan acolomates, bilateral symmetry, habitat, aquatic nutrition. Many are parasites feed of host blood tissue of predigested materials from host intestines feed on dead animals. Feeding planarians extend pharynx from foot. Example, tuberlaria. Trematoda, Kestoda. Pylum platyhelminthes flatworms. Examples are tapeworms, planaria, parasitic flux. Arthropods. Arthropoda classification and characteristics. Crustaceans. Their heads and thorax. Middle part are fused. They have many legs jointed to the body. Mainly, live in water, crab, and lobster. Centipede and millipedes are myropodia. Their body is divided into two many segments. Each segment consists of one or two pair of legs. Insecta. Their body is divided into three parts. Head, thorax, middle part, and the abdomen, lower part. They have three pairs of jointed legs, head, very small, a pair of antenna or feelers, mosquito and butterfly. Scorpion and spiders are arachnida. Their heads and thorax middle part are fused. They have two pairs of jointed legs, have no antenna. Arthropod, crustaceans, characteristics of crustaceans. Exoskeleton hardened by calcium carbonate, green gland, excretory urine. Head with five parts of antenna, two pairs of antenna sensing surroundings, one pair of mandibles, two pairs of feeding appendages, fuse cephalothorax, gills, appendages of swimming, crawling, attaching to things, mating, feeding. Arthropod, Miripod. Mili means 1,000. Centi means 100. Pedi means foot. They don't really have that many though. Fossils prove that have been around for a long time. Millipids protect themselves by curling into a bowl and spraying hydrochloric acid. Some centipedes glow in the dark. Arthropod, Insects. Characteristics. All insects have exoskeleton. They have three main body parts, thorax, abdomen, and head. Insects also have a pair of antenna on top of their heads. Insects have compound eyes, three pairs of legs, and many have two pairs of wings but not all. For example, is the bee. The antenna, head, thorax, abdomen, and wings. The lower part, mouth parts, and legs. Most insects have compound eyes. They can see 360 degrees. Most insects are verbivore. Some are creepy and annoying. Arthropod arachnid. Characteristics. How many legs do they have? How many body parts? They have stingers, sensory hairs, and venom glands. Arthropods and arachnids, like scorpion and spiders. Let's try to answer 
What are the body parts of the mantis? Choose your answer below. Let's check. These are the body parts. Number one, antenna. Number two, head. Number three, legs. Number four, eyes. Number five, thorax. Number six, wings. And number seven, abdomen. Classification of invertebrate animals, mollusks, nidarian, flat worms, echinoderm, insect. Try to identify. These are the answers. Number one, flatworm. Number two, sponges. Number three, nidoria. Number four, insects. Number five, mollusks. Number six, mollusks. Evaluation, let's answer. Choose the letter of the correct answer to describe the characteristics of invertebrate animals. Number one, which of the following mollusks have two shells that cover their body? A. Univalves, B. Bivalves, C. Cephalopods. Number two, which of the following are cephalopods? The head footed mollusks. A. Squid, B. Oyster, C. Snail, D. Slugs. Number three, which of the following animals has no external skeleton that supports and protects their body? A. Bug, B. Beetle, C. Scallop, D. Flatworm. Which of the following is arthropod that has three main body parts like head, thorax, and abdomen and have jointed legs? A. Centipede, B. Crab, C. Lobster, D. Spider. Number five, which of the following are the characteristics of sponges? A, A their, body ba their bodies have one large opening and many smaller pore-like openings. B, they are marine animals that have eight legs. C, they have hard shells that cover their body. D, they have jointed legs. Let's check. These are the answers. Number 1, B. Number 2, A. Number 3, D. Number 4, D. And number 5, A. I hope you got 5 over 5. Assignment. Cut out or draw pictures of different classification of, of invertebrates. Use bond paper. Pencil color or scissors. Example is Nidarians. Good luck. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something in science. Goodbye.